Hello, everyone. Welcome to week 17 um, in semester two of World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of the lessons that we'll be covering throughout the week. Let's take a look at our agenda. So first, in, in this week, we're going to start off with current news. Then we're going to be moving on to challenges facing Africa, um, a review of our Africa unit through some mini games and some practice questions. Then we'll move on to the independence of Africa and early history of Southeast Asia. So some of the big questions that we're going to focus on and review are, what are some key geographical features in shaping Africa's physical landscape, climate, and ecosystems? Um, then we're going to think about the challenges by exploring the interconnectedness between Africa's geographical features and broader global issues. So we're looking at um, uh, deforestation and desertification here. When we um, also, when we move on to the next lesson for Asia, we'll be looking at the people or the population that arrived in Southeast Asia, its history, and the geography and trade um, routes that helped shape its early cultures. As mentioned, when looking at the challenges um, facing Africa, we're going to fo be focusing on desertification and deforestation through a small case study um, when looking at the rainforest. And we're going to do the desertification exploration through a story interpretation activity, which is more efficient, but we're going to be looking at how that depicts things about the global, situ the global issue of desertification in Africa. Then we'll move on to our Africa mini games. We'll have a card matching game and we'll talk about how Africa, is, the theory of Africa splitting into two different continents. So continental, continental drifting and some pictures in tourist areas in Africa that are becoming very, very popular. We'll then move on to the early history of Southeast Asia by looking at the three different empires, discussing the causes and effects of the Indochina War, and looking at the um, uh, looking at the uh, the geography and trade routes that helped shape these early cultures, while also um, reading about its history and analyzing the way Europeans made an impact on Southeast Asia. So that's the topic of imperialism there. Then we'll be exploring maps. I know this is a little blurry in the slide here, but you guys will be getting a copy of this map outline um, just so that we are more familiar with the geographical features of Southeast Asia. We'll then talk about the trade routes by looking at civilizations and, you know, looking into the similarities and differences that are highlighted in the areas that are highlighted in the map exercise. So we're going to be comparing and contrasting there. And when we're looking at trade, we're going to be looking at the captions and the origination of trade in Southeast Asia by matching the captions to the pictures and using that as a starting point to discuss the trade droughts and look at them in depth. <laughs> Lastly, um, we will be looking at some of the activities that we're going to take a part in, which are interactive galleries, interactive maps, mini games, matching exercises and cause and effect charts, lesson checks, and of course, the current news. If you have any questions throughout the week or need help with the material, feel free to contact me via email and make sure that you are on track when it comes to your classwork. Um, that way you can make sure that you have all of this completed before the A4 ends. Um, that is all for this video. Uh, have a good rest of your week.